Honestly, my only question is I'm gonna get any press out of this, you know what I mean? It's you're supposed gonna, to be quite a... You'll probably get some attention from, high profile from this charge. drama. So the immigration attorney who we, we spoke to on the phone the other day needs a little more information, but she looked up your criminal charges. Yeah. And there's a Which few. are the possession of a penis, the possession of a glass penis, and then the possession of a penis. Um, so ICE, which is Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Yeah, I know what ICE is. You know what ICE is. I'm just saying, people that may not know. Yeah, they, they, they don't really, you, you don't get placed in a mental health p facility, you just get put away in a cell. So being trans, being gay, being mental health issues or, or your drug issues, you don't get any kind of compensation for that. You just get stuck in a room and that's it. And sometimes it takes months on end, you know that. Oh, months? Months. That's all it would take? Before they deport you. Before they allegedly deport you. If they deport you. If they deport me. Right. So the first, the first charge you have to clear, mm -hmm. you have to deal with, is an, um, a non-appearance for exposing yourself. Exposing private parts and public property. That was, that was West Hollywood or Beverly Hills? I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. Uh, she said this needs to, be, and then there was also a battery on a police, a peace officer. That one, I plead the fifth, no, on that one I, Keep going. And she said that needs to be resolved. Uh -huh. But that might be resolved if you address the mental health referral. If I address they, it from the mental health standpoint, which is I was suicidal, we all know this. So I'm insane. Which would help clear a lot of the charges. I'm gonna try to seem like a Machiavelli or anything. It's just, I'm really terrified, you know. And then Beverly Hills, you had um, a possession of drug paraphernalia and paraphernalia, public, and yeah, public yeah. intoxication. Okay. And, she said, and she said if that drug paraphernalia has anything to do with uh, crack, meth, or fentanyl, uh -huh. full stop, she says. It's like you're screwed. I'm screwed. It's not just like marijuana. It's, it's, a, it's a harder drug. But there's no possession charge. Uh, it doesn't say possession. Mm -hmm. Possession of drug paraphernalia. So, so we'll see what happens there. But she, she said again, if you, if you comply with the mental health order, then that might might help you. Did and then there's, a, and then there's a third case, a third charge in West Hollywood. And, and that hasn't been filed by the court yet. And that wasn't filed in court yet? No, that wasn't filed with the court yet. So it's a, it's a toss up, isn't it? Well, it's a booking, there'll be, there'll will, there will be a charge, but she doesn't know what the details are yet. And am I allowed to in any way claim innocence? I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a judge. I'm just, I'm just wow. telling you what, what, what the attorney said. He doesn't want me anymore, he wants you. Who's he? Who is he? Who are you talking about? Nothing, I'm just, I'm insane. But how about the charges, won't it? And there was also a fake ID charge that was dismissed. Mm -hmm. That was dismissed. Yeah. And that one also has a mental health referral. Have you, have you had a lawyer in the past? Yes or no, public defender. Yeah, have you had a public defender? So can I just PSA real quick, if anyone's watching this, just in case they come and snatch me away. Hi, my name is Rebecca Olson, mark you a minute here. And I'm a transgender woman. Pre-op or not, I identify as a woman. If they come and snatch me, if anyone wants to start a GoFundMe or just let it be known that I was taken, right? And if anyone out there is a true lawyer, or anyone at all has anything to do with the legal field. And because they can help in my case, <laughs> figure out where I am and give me a call. Well, I mean, that's, that's, what we're, that's, who you, that's who you spoke to the other day was an attorney. Yeah, I spoke to her on the phone, She yeah. specializes in immigration. In immigration, but not necessarily in that. Yeah, so that you might Asylum need another, cases. that's true, you might need another attorney for this stuff. A slum. But you might need to, curtail your drug use a well, little bit. I'm not doing drugs in fucking ice, Mark. What's that? I'm not doing drugs if I'm in ice. Uh, You're going to be doing drugs? I, I said I won't be. Well, you won't be, right, that's what I'm saying. You won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Don't be smart with me, I'm trying to help so the you. The humor I appreciate. I need all the laughs I can get right now. 
It's gonna be my last night in America, my last night of freedom. Well, you, you know you brought this on yourself. That I will accept, yeah. I'm not saying I didn't do anything wrong. All I am saying is, under the Geneva Convention, human rights, LGBT rights, I am allowed a fair trial here, and also, they will kill me if I go back to where I'm from. I won't say I'm terrified, but I'm shaking in my boots. Mark, please, I need people to hear this. Where I'm from, they take a gay man or a woman like me, seeing as you don't think I'm a real woman, and they hang them from trees and or throw them into <laughs> So, this is an appeasement and or a calling out to anyone and everyone out there on the internet who says they may or may not love me, claim to know me, help! This is an emergency. Rebecca needs help now. You need an attorney. I need more than an attorney, I need help. Yeah, you need, you need mental health, you need drug help, you need uh, an attorney as well. We need a whole team. I, can, I, can I do help, need I, a team that I, that I, can, I can agree I, with. I can help you with all of these, for probably most of them. And then why haven't you in the past? Because you're, you just always go off and get high. Every time I get you, uh, even a hotel room, you, you disappear and go get high. Yes, Mark, I get high. Now it's time to get low. Keep it professional here. No, I'm just saying, you, you, you're, you, know, you just, I've given you a room key and you just, you just walk away. Oh, the room key to what? A hotel room. What hotel? The one across the street. Can you name it? Continental. The Continental? Can you say the Continental Hotel? The Continental Hotel. Thank you. Because I, I tried to take you to the Intercontinental where Obama stayed and they, they wouldn't even let you walk up the stairs. To the, to the... Ironically, because of the black bouncer. Ironically enough. So you think that was a racial thing? It's not a racial thing at all. I just consider it ironic, no? <laughs> African American. I don't think he could have been white, purple, doesn't matter. He would No, not. he definitely, though, was black. I'm just saying this being from Africa. I don't think he had any. Being sent back to Africa, Mark, please. It's ironic, no? On the special There's a little things. irony there, but that had nothing to do with race. It has everything to do with race. I think it might have something to do with the lipstick smeared all over your face, your, your black feet, your attitude, what you were wearing, just your whole, at, your. Ron at Pulaski? I mean, I took you to how many hotels that day? Three of them, no, none of them. Two of them. Even the Continental wouldn't let you in that day, remember? And then they let me in the next day, so either way. But they got, they gave I me I have a, embarrassed myself. They gave me a room and I got you the key outside and then Mark, you snuck up. I understand that this is a bit of a war here. You really want I'm to fight I'm just trying me. to help you and you're no, making you're it not. difficult. This is doing nothing to quench my nerves. Could you imagine, Mark, never having a drink of water again? I'm not trying to quench your nerves. I'm trying to maybe make you aware of this, the seriousness Good of the situation. Thank you. I know you, you stubbornly want to, you don't want to give up drugs, but I think that's going to help you here. I'll be sober for my trial, that's for sure. And then, if I succeed, I'll celebrate. If not, then at least I got to for one day. But thank you, America, for everything. Thank you for the liberty. Thank you for letting me do and be whatever I wanted to do. Make me feel like the woman that I, while not necessarily deserve to be, in all humility but would rather be. No, I mean, I, I want the best for you, just like a lot of my viewers do. But we need your cooperation here. I need my cooperation, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, you need your cooperation. You're right. Wow. Is it something you just can't control, or is it something you can control? What, drugs? The, the drug use, the, the... I can definitely control. Can you control? Eat me, drink me. Eat me, drink me. Eat me, drink me. You're fascinating. I want, I want good things to happen to you, Rebecca, but... So do I. Do I have that? Do I have that on file, on video? Mark wants good things for Rebecca. Can you say that, please? Can you say Mark wants good things for I would, I would love to see good things happen. Can you say for you. Mark. <laughs> don't, be a, don't be a dick. Please, please just say it. It's my last request. My last wish would just say, 
Mark has good wishes. You're going to have about twenty more requests. Huh? You're going to have twenty more requests tonight. You're going to ask me for a room. You're going to ask me for a wig. You're going to ask me for money for drugs. You're going to ask me for all this stuff. Sounds about right. Jose is your last request. I never asked for a room. You don't want a room? I it's going to rain room. for four days. Huh? It's going to rain for the next four days. Later, later this week. Oh, it's been arranged. It's supposed. To, it's going to rain. Oh, it's going to rain. You want to walk around almost naked in the in the cold rain? Won't be the first time. I know. I'm just trying I, to help. I'm, just, I'm trying to help you. There it goes. I'm not the I enemy. Sound the rain. Then help me, Mark. Maybe don't be so combative. No, but I think getting a hotel room will help you from All right, that's probably getting great. sick. Having a cell will help me transition to another cell. Kind of what I'm trying to do, isn't it? Well, at least being cooped up will help me be able to get the resources I need to at least start my transition, which I've failed to do this entire time. I don't being. think the transition is first on your list right now. Transition is the top of my list. What about, what about the de deportations? Well, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? They don't. They are literally the same I, thing. I think first things first. I think deportation is, is... The deportation and then the transition. Doctor, doctor. Sorry, just let me have fun here. This is my last night on earth, let me have fun. I could go to hell after this, or heaven. Even worse, the desert. Thank you for that sip of water. <laughs> Try to where I'm from. They take you out to the desert. And you don't get shot, you're just left there. I love you, Marcy. Do you think I have an advantage here or not, Mark? I do not think you have the advantage. That's right. I think you have a very strong disadvantage right now. Based on what I've seen, I've known you for three years. You, you, you run to go get high every single scenario. Every, every time we, I give you 20 bucks, 40 bucks, or even 100 bucks, you spend it on drugs. I believe in the future that all narcotics will be decriminalized. And it's a funny case to fight in California, you know, considering the cannabis thing. No one even smokes weed anymore. Either way, H-E-L-P. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll get your room. Do you want, do you want to go to rehab? Because I think that, that would probably, there's a 30 day rehab I can set you up with. What I need to do is talk to this lawyer. Can we call her now or tomorrow? Let me try to call her right now. Do we have to do this on camera? Your decision, or mine? If you would rather not, I, I, I will. You, you, would you rather do this not on camera? I believe confidentiality should be a clause here, seeing as. Okay, I'll turn it off the camera. Let me just get her number down. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Thank you. Goodbye. For now. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Love you. I think Mark wanted to speak to you anyway. Hey, Carl. Hey, Mark. So, are, does he have a chance? A snowball's chance in hell? Well, yeah, because he just gave me some really important information, which is he has a, a song <laughs> playing filed somewhere already. So, okay. now we got to just keep getting to find that. Okay. So, uh, not impossible, very difficult, very time consuming, uh, long wait times for anything to do with the government. Do you, do you need uh, his father's and mother's names? I need his father's name and his mother's name. Here, put your bag down. Mark, if you can get me, if you can get me a phone so I can text her personally, because I want my communication with her to be confidential. No okay. offense. All right. All right, so he, he wants it to be confidential. I'll have to get him a phone. She, he, sorry, you're right, again. He, sorry, this is she, all about gender at this point. <laughs> Okay. Um, Mark, I'll, I'll try to get joke. your phone tomorrow, if not Monday. Mark, the whole reason I want to stay in the United States is because I identify as female. I know you think that's funny to you. No, it's all good. I, I just I need to get you a phone. I don't have a, you. Get, you keep losing all the phones I had. I had a stash of phones. You've lost every one of them. Every one of them. I'm don't be sorry. sarcastic. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to help you. I'm sorry, Mark. Jesus, you're so mean to me now. What's going on? Um, all right. So let me work on. Getting him a phone so you guys can speak confidentially. <laughs> I'll keep you. I'll keep you updated. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Yeah. Bye.
Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Thanks, John. Bye. Bye. All right, I'll get your phone so you guys can speak confidentially. I would definitely hold on this time. Is, did, did she give you hope? I hope so. I do too. I have no options in life. I'm always prepared for the absolute worst, which in my case is quite a bit, but we don't need to talk about that. Do I have your support, Mark? You have my support. I mean, I got you an immigration attorney. I'm getting you a room. I'm getting you a rehab if you want it. I, I, mental health, all that stuff. A therapist, all of this. But you have to cooperate. I can only do so much. I can get these things lined up for you, but if you don't show, then you... I'm ready to cooperate with the state on okay. a solution here that is mutually beneficial. Okay. And I fully appreciate every advantage I've been given so far. <laughs> it's the United States government. Thank you very much for even the opportunity to be an American. And if I don't have your support, at the very least, I would like to have your understanding. I'm on your side. Are you the government? I'm not. <sighs> then we are. Not you, but us. Anyway, Mark, why haven't changed clothes in like a week? What's that? I end up with a purple heart. Yeah. Oh yeah. So thank you to the government for my purple heart. You, you keep the freedom to wear a skirt in America. You keep coordinating with my backdrops. Thank you. And all I want to say is, yes. in the name of civil liberty, it is an inalienable right in the United States of America to identify as a woman. Not just freedom, but to be a woman. And I would love you, America, to know that that is the crime on trial starting today. It's not about the right to be a woman, but being a woman in itself. I admit I currently am a man with the appendage of a man, but I am a woman. If you can hear me, and that means anything you in any way, thank you. All right. To be continued. So it goes to women either way. To be continued. Let's do our best. Hmm? We're going to do our best, but you're going to have to do part of the work. Probably most of the work. Getting getting yourself clean and straight, it's gonna be some work. For your consideration. You're a stone fox. <laughs> okay. All right, Donna, thank you.